Western New Yorkers continue to show support for those people in need, but thousands of people remain desperate for any help that they can receive down there tonight. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Muller shows us now how one Niagara County man and his national organization is making a difference. They've lost everything. They've lost their house. They've lost all their belongings. They were born in the aftermath of Katrina. Now, Eight Days of Hope, a disaster rebuilding ministry, is setting its sights on Harvey Relief. We'll be gutting hundreds and hundreds of homes. The group is set to arrive in Houston tonight. Over the next two months, they will be working with volunteers from across the country. We need all hands on deck. Whether we have to rip drywall out, put new plumbing out, put new roof on, we do whatever's got to be done to get the people back in the house. The Wesleyan Church of Hamburg is also partnering with Eight Days of Hope collecting donations. We're looking for materials that will help in recovery and relief of people whose homes and lives have been destroyed. We're talking generators, batteries, box fans, extension cords and basic tools. The first drop off starts Thursday at 6 p.m. and runs throughout the weekend at the church on McKinley Parkway. And I think we as Western New Yorkers really enjoy serving in this way. So I think it's another opportunity for us to step up and say we want to be a part of helping what's going on in our world and in this case in our nation. The Salvation Army also lending a helping hand in the storm ravaged region. We're planning before a storm hits to make sure that we can get in immediately um, and we don't leave until all the needs are met. In Hamburg, Brittany Muller, 7 Eyewitness News.